Well, doctors say an upset stomach is causing big problems for some of us this week. Dr. Mel Roca tells me some of his adult patients in Council Bluffs have been complaining about crampy abdominal pain. They're also experiencing nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Staying hydrated is the best way to treat it. Small sips of clear soup, soda, or fruit juice mixed with water is recommended. It's also best to eat bland foods like bananas the first 24 hours and avoid fried foods and dairy for three days. Now, if you are vomiting, have a high fever, loose stools more than three times in 24 hours, bloody stools, or tiredness, you should see the doctor. And two of our doctors say croup is going around again this week. Dr. Amy LaCroix in Midtown says it often leads to a barky cough, nasal congestion, a hoarse voice, and fever. The symptoms are often worse at night or if a child is crying. It's typically caused by a virus, so antibiotics won't work. However, breathing in moist air from a cool mist humidifier or steamy shower can help. Dr. Steve Sandilar also suggests breathing in cold air from an open freezer. You can also give your child Tylenol or Motrin. Croup lasts two to three days before developing into a common cold. Contact your child's doctor if breathing becomes labored. If your child is struggling to breathe or begins making noisy, high-pitched breathing sounds when inhaling and exhaling, you should seek medical attention immediately. That is what's going around this week. I'm Cerise Cole. Thanks, Cerise.